Hi dear students, welcome to my channel. This is Fundamentals of Physics and continuation of the previous classes. Today the topic is the coordinate system. What is coordinate system? Why we need a coordinate system? Before that I will introduce myself. Uh, my name is Srinivasu. I born in a village of Gurujala. It is in Nalgunda district, a Telangana state. It is country India, continent Asia, planet Earth, galaxy Milky Way. I think this is one of the ultimate address of mine I am giving you. Most probably this address is useful for the most beautiful alien scientist in another galaxy from whom I am expecting a love letter. Just I am kidding. Okay, after listening my address now, suddenly this address is given to one of the alien in another galaxy. But in what way my address is related to the coordinate system? But curiosity will come into your mind now. I will tell you. I will ask a question simple. Uh, what is the distance of Hyderabad? Hyderabad, everybody knows it is in Telangana state, India country, third world people know, and people in the space also knows this. What is the distance of Hyderabad? Okay, basic question. Okay, okay distance of Hyderabad from where? First question that only it will come into the mind. From where? Then I will tell from my village where I born. Okay, then I will. If somebody asks me what is the distance of Hyderabad, I will tell from my village it is some approximately 110 kilometer. So you need a reference point to find the distance of any object or any village or any town or even any other another planet also. So if you want to measure anything, you need a reference point. That reference point I am calling as origin. Okay? Origin from where you are measuring any physical quantity. Okay? The coordinate system, most of the people, we know that it is x axis, y axis, z axis. What is that? What is x axis, y axis, z axis? Why I should use always x, y, z? Why can't I use ABC, element, PQR, something else, alphabets also you can use. You can very well use. There is no harm using any alphabet or your own language alphabets also. There is no harm. But so far in the world, everybody using X, Y, Z, X axis, Y axis, Z axis. So that is the reason I am also familiar with that coordinate system X, Y, Z. So I am also using X axis, Y axis, Z axis. What is this axis? Axis means simply a straight line. It's a reference line. In athletes, when they are running, no? In running race, all athletes, they have to cross one particular line, that is a reference line. Who crosses that line first? They are the first track. Understand? They, they will get first, first prize, whatever it is. So that is a reference line. Before I calculated the distance of Hyderabad from my village, no? that is a reference point. When all athletes are running, crossing that line, that is a reference line. When missile, you know missile. When you are sending a missile to reach the target, the path of the missile and the target should be in the same plane. Otherwise, it will not reach. That is a reference plane. So, there is a reference point, there is a reference line, there is a reference plane. This all together I am calling a coordinate system. Okay? Two dimension, three dimension, one dimension. First, I should tell one dimension. One dimension means single line. Okay? Two dimension means one is x-axis, one is y-axis. Both are perpendicular to each other. Okay? So, perpendicular to the plane, one more axis is there. That is called z-axis, I am calling. So, x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. Understand? So, this is three dimension. Only x-axis, y-axis, two dimension. Only along x-axis is one dimension. Understand? So, the four coordinate system, why we require you understand? But it has some nomenclature, it has name, x axis, y axis, z axis. x coordinates, what are the points on the x axis? They are called x coordinates. Okay? And y coordinates, what are the points on the y coordinate? Understand? z coordinates, what are the points on the z coordinates? What does that mean? 
it is just like measuring the distance. Suppose I am at the origin, the handover distance is 110 km. That 110 km is coordinate of x axis. Okay, suppose that Hyderabad is along y direction, the y coordinate is 110 km. Understand? Suppose if it is at along the z direction, the Hyderabad z coordinate is 110 km from my village. Understand? That is the basic of a coordinate system. Okay, I will give some examples of this coordinate system and some advance what is the slope what is the line how to plot the graph that all I will discuss keep watching this video you'll understand clearly this is coordinate system this is two dimension this is center point is there no this is O origin from the origin right side positive x axis from origin left side negative x axis so above from origin positive y direction down negative y direction this with our own convenient we have drawn like this okay so this is two dimension coordinate system because it has two axes one is x axis one is y axis both are perpendicular to each other they have a common point that is o that is called origin on the x axis i am writing some values no 1 2 3 these are coordinates of x axis are x coordinates so along this direction all positive values are there positive of x coordinates okay along this direction y coordinates positive this is 1 2 3 and so on so this quadrant i am calling quadrant 1 x coordinate is plus y coordinate is plus suppose you take a point a this is 1 this is 1 this point A has a coordinate 1 comma 1. So x coordinate is 1, y coordinate is 1. x coordinate 1 means, x is equal to 1 means, this point is at a distance of 1 from the y axis. y coordinate 1 means, this point is at a distance of 1 from x axis. Okay y coordinate means this point is at a distance of 1 it may be 1 centimeter 1 unit any unit from the x axis so like that we are writing x coordinate y coordinate okay this is first coordinate in the first coordinate x and y both are plus plus that's why i'm writing plus comma plus because x coordinate is plus y coordinate also plus this is quadrant one you go here this is second quadrant so here x values are negative minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on that's why minus comma plus because x coordinate is negative y coordinate is plus agree now you come down this is third quadrant here so here in the third quadrant x values are negative and y values also negative so minus comma minus agree you go here that is fourth quadrant here x coordinates are positive so plus comma y coordinates are negative so minus plus comma minus agree so the example already i have given no this point a x comma y is equal to 1 comma 1 so x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 this x coordinate no there is another name for x coordinate that is abscissa abscissa y coordinate another name is ordinate okay now we will plot the graph you see here plot the graph of an equation y equal to x this is relation between the x coordinate and y coordinate you take any point there may be a relation between x coordinate and y coordinate that is called a graph 
If there are set of points more than one, two, three, four, then you will have a equation y equal to x, y equal to x, or anything. So y equal to x means x is independent variable. Variable means it will change continuously. X is independent. X is taking its values independently. That's why x is called independent variable. So y is function of x. Y changes as per the x. So that is why y is dependent variable. Y also changes, but it dependent. Y depends on x. You see here, you keep x is equal to zero. Y also becomes zero. So zero comma zero point. X is equal to one. Y also one because y equal to x equation. No, that's why. So one comma one. You take x is equal to minus 1 then y also minus 1 how x is changing accordingly y is changing that is why x is independent variable y is dependent variable so these three points we'll see here 0 comma 0 is origin 1 comma 1 is here minus 1 comma 1 is here minus 1 is x coordinate minus 2 This is minus 1 actually. Minus 1 comma minus 1. Okay. This is minus 1 not printed properly. Okay. Understand this. This is minus 1 minus 1. So this is minus 1 minus 1. You join these three points. It looks like this. So this is straight line passing through the origin. Agree? Now you take y equal to minus x. Now you can do this x as. You put x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, x is equal to minus 1. You will get graph like this. Okay, students. You understand what is coordinate system, what is two-dimensional coordinate system, what is x-axis, x-coordinate, y-axis, y-coordinate. And uh, how many quadrants are there. I hope you understand the basic idea of coordinate system. Okay, students. If you like this video, please like it, share it and subscribe it. After subscribing, one bell will come don't forget to tap that bell because whenever i update this videos whenever i put some new videos you will get the notifications thank you for watching this video till next video bye bye tada